This is weedy rice. You might think, are they weeds or are they rice? Weedy rice plants are, in fact, weedy forms of rice that are closely related to cultivated rice. Weedy rice is a serious threat in rice directly sown in the field rather than in transplanted rice. Unlike in transplanted rice, direct seeded fields are not flooded early, and more weed species are likely to infest the fields. Once fields are infested with weedy rice, the costs of control can be very high. In recent years, weedy rice has invaded the world's major rice-growing areas, including North and South America, the Caribbean, and Asia. Weedy rice has become a major threat to rice fields in different parts of Sri Lanka, where more than 90% of farmers practice direct seeding. In Kadue Duwayaya, 10 to 15 acres of land have been completely abandoned due to weedy rice in the past 10 to 12 years. In Ampara district, we can see only 2 to 4 or maximum 5 varieties. But here, we can see more than 10 to 12 varieties. Now, even in Matara district, weedy rice has spread everywhere. Weedy rice grows alongside conventional rice, making it difficult to see and deal with. Weedy rice is unpredictable. It can be taller or shorter than or as tall as cultivated rice. Weedy rice can have closed or open panicles. Flag leaves can be erect or droopy. Ons can be absent, short, or long. A unique feature of weedy rice is that the grains shed easily and fall to the ground rather than being harvested, and the seeds have variable dormancy so they remain in the soil and germinate at different times. What makes weedy rice a serious threat is that it is very competitive with cultivated rice. Weedy rice has very vigorous growth compared with cultivated rice. There is much crop lodging in weedy rice, which causes further losses. This also makes it harder to harvest the crop either manually or by using machines. We are unable to uproot weedy rice, nor can we cut it. We cannot hire laborers since the costs are too high. The growth of weedy rice is so vigorous that the sunlight does not fall onto the lower layers of the crop. As a result, there may be a high rate of fungi and insect infestations. These infestations are hard to control because of this taller weedy rice. As of now, no single management technique can effectively control weedy rice. It is very important to prevent weedy rice seeds from being introduced into uncontaminated fields. To prevent weedy rice, avoid using rice seeds contaminated with weedy rice. Use clean seeds from a known source or certified seeds. Take care to thoroughly clean machinery for land preparation or harvesting if it is coming from infested fields. Better yet, avoid using this machinery. Clean canals because weedy rice seeds can be introduced into irrigation water. If you find weedy rice in your fields at the heading and flowering stages, cut the plants and leave them in the field. At later stages, it is better to remove weedy rice panicles by hand from the field. Dr. Anuru Abeisakera is a senior weed scientist and head of the Plant Protection Division at the Department of Agriculture's Rice Research and Development Institute in Sri Lanka. She has been studying weedy rice to learn how to control it and reduce losses in yield. Weedy rice seeds can survive even for about seven years. After harvesting in infested fields, stubble and a thin layer of straw over the soil should be burned to destroy weedy rice seeds on the soil surface. To reduce the weedy rice seed bank in the soil, after early rains or irrigation, allow the weedy rice seeds to germinate before sowing the crop. Once these weedy rice seedlings are well developed, 
either cultivate the soil or use glyphosate or paraquat to destroy the weedy rice seedlings. Since soil seed banks can be large, a farmer may need to repeat this process over two to three seasons. It is easier to control weedy rice in transplanted rice than in directly sown crops because of differences in the growth stage of rice that allows early flooding. In directly sown crops, weedy rice can be more easily detected if the crop is sown in straight lines. In some countries, pre-germinated rice seed is sown into flooded fields, called water seeding, as this suppresses the germination of the weedy rice while cultivated rice emerges. This farmer has been successful in controlling weedy rice in his field. Weedy rice can be controlled at the plowing stage, at seedling stage, at heading stage, and when mature grains are present. During land preparation, I sometimes spray herbicide to kill weedy rice. After 20 to 25 days, I irrigate the fields and then subsequently drain them. Once the weedy plants appear, I plow the fields to kill the seedlings. Without using herbicides, one can plow the fields and then drain them and the seedlings that are growing can be destroyed during the second plowing. Water control is very important to suppress weedy rice growth in the crop. We can divert water using pipes and control the water flow using high buns. Cleaning weeds from field buns and drains is also important. We farmers have to control weedy rice as a group in all our fields, not just in individual fields. Otherwise, it invades again from infested fields. Controlling weedy rice is no easy task. Studies are continuing. Different management techniques are needed. Farmers must work together. Prevention is key and it starts with being aware of this problem weed, using good seeds and preventing the weed from multiplying. All these are ingredients for weeding out weedy rice.